Hello and welcome to this beginner's tutorial in Java. This is your favorite coding musician, Jerry Abba, and I will be your instructor in this course. I am so excited you've decided to take the bold step to start learning one programming language on your path, on your journey to become a software developer or a web developer. I I'm a software developer and a certified Scrum Master with a few years of experience and I'm glad to share my knowledge with you as you make your transitional progress into the world of tech. So what is Java and why learn Java? Java is one of the most highly in-demand programming languages used for various purposes including the creation of smartphone applications, websites, including server-side processors and smart device features for Internet of Things. Java is a general purpose, high level, class based, object oriented programming language. Don't worry about what all of that means. I will break them down one after the other as we continue in this course. As of the time of this recording, Java still remains one of the most widely used programming languages with a reported 9 million developers. I repeat that again. There are over 9 million developers according to GitHub and TIOBE index for July 2022. That is the number of developers that are making use of the Java programming language to build applications and various things out there in the world of tech today. That's awesome. A little bit about the history of Java. Java was originally called Oak and it was invented by James Goslin and a team of developers at Sun Microsystems in 1991. The name was later changed to Java in 1995 when it was redesigned for developing internet applications amongst its other uses. The giant tech company called Oracle bought over Sun Microsystems and therefore Oracle now owns Java. So if anyone asks you who, which company, what's the parent company that owns Java right now, it is Oracle. The next point about Java, why you should learn Java or why is Java so important? Why is everyone raving about Java in the world of programming or software development? Java is a write once run anywhere programming language, W-O-R-A or WORA. This simply means that a compiled Java code can run on all platforms. It doesn't matter if you're, you're on Windows, you're on Linux, you're on Mac operating system. If you have a Java code, it's going to run. You don't have to recompile it again. That's why Java is referred to as a write once run anywhere programming language. Java applications are compiled to bytecode which runs on Java Virtual Machine, JVM. This does not depend on the particular computer architecture. The Java syntax is slightly similar to the syntax of the C and C++ programming languages, but Java has fewer low-level facilities than either of C or C++. For example, the handling of memory management in Java is a process that is done automatically, so you don't have to worry about it. But in C++, you have to take care of those manually by yourself. Now, when we talk about memory management, in this instance, it is the process of allocation and deallocation of objects to memory in Java. A few other advantages or importance of the Java programming language that I would like to share with you is found on the oracle.com website. So if you go to oracle.com slash Java, you're going to find this. This is what Oracle, the parent company or the owner of Java has to say about that programming language. They believe that Java is the number one programming language and development platform, of course. They are the parent company, they have to hype their own programming language. But of course, um, I totally agree that Java is one of the top most versatile programming languages out there, but I'm not going to go into the argument of which is the number one or the number two. 
are right. It reduces costs, it shortens development timeframes, it drives innovation, and it improves application services. With millions of developers running more than 51 billion Java virtual machines worldwide, Java continues to be the development platform of choice for enterprises and developers. Briefly, I'll be walking you through a brief curriculum of everything we're going to be covering in this course. First of all, we'll set up our development environment and then do all the installations that are needed on our machines. Then we'll cover variables, data types, and operators. This will be followed by string formatting and date processing. That will also be followed by control flow, where we'll talk about um, various logic and various statements. The next thing we'll cover will be loops and arrays. This will finally be followed by parameter handling and methods. As we proceed in the course, we'll be going through various exercises to help us solidify our knowledge and make progress in building a project. So, in this series of tutorials, I will be teaching you all you need to know to start creating awesome applications in Java. We will be using the IntelliJ IDEA, or some pronounce it IntelliJ IDEA, as our main IDE. IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment throughout this course. If you already have it installed on your computer, that's great. If you don't have it installed, no worries. I will be walking you through a step-by-step -step process to get it installed on both Mac and Windows in the next episode, where we will be setting up our development environment. Right below this video, I'll be leaving some very important links in the description section. Make sure to check them out. Remember to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to stay informed of the next episode in the Java programming series. Also, thank you for liking the video. Finally, leave a comment below to let me know what programming language you are currently learning and tell me what you think about the Java programming language. Thank you and see you next time. Bye.